Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, not too many pieces of gear get me so excited before I even get it in my hands to the point that I actually want to share it with you. Now we already got to speak to the designer, his name is Dennis, he's based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And some of the overlay footage and pictures that you're going to be seeing do come from his Indiegogo and various YouTube videos that he's posted. But this is designed to be an all-terrain, heavyweight haul assisting device. This is designed to basically help you haul your gear in a very lightweight and very highly functional fashion. Now, given the fact that he's in Salt Lake City, Utah, it gives him basically the perfect arena to do a lot of field testing. Now, most of the footage that you get to see live action was of a prototype that they designed that was 3D freaking printed, and they took it on several different adventures, and it worked really, really, really well. And that was just the 3D printed prototype. They're actually gonna be making this thing at a very high impact, extremely durable polymer, and it's going to be basically bulletproof um, from what we've been able to talk with Dennis about. But some of the features that really have me excited are with the tires. They're really, really big wheels, and they are no flat tires. We don't have to worry about being down in the field with the tires just losing air and not being able to wheel like you need to. What happens if you have a really heavy load and you actually have to cart it uphill? Brand new item called Uphill Assist, which is kind of like a locking mechanism that will not allow the cart to go backwards, but only forward. So let's say you're trucking it uphill with a very heavy load, whether you've been hunting, you're doing some wood processing, you're carrying someone for a medical reason, you don't want to be fighting that cart the full way and at risk in yourself in harm's way. So that is a really cool feature that I found that is pretty awesome. Additionally, they have a thing called the rear handle. It is a handle that will attach on the back end, obviously. <laughs> And that'll allow another person to help you when the loads get really, really heavy and you're going uphill or downhill. But without taking too much longer, it basically overall has a 20 inch clearance. It can hold 400 pounds. It, like I said, it has the rear handle. It's gonna have a full vehicle cargo kit. So if you have an SUV, station wagon, minivan, and you wanna actually disassemble this, it disassembles without any tools and it can put right on your cart and you can hold your camping gear, your bug out equipment, work site tools, anything like that. It's also stackable. So if you run a company and you end up using these on a job site. Furthermore, in the applications that I would really wanna be using this in is the all weather cover. So you find yourself in a situation, let's say your car breaks down in the middle of freaking nowhere. You need to get your supplies, small children, anybody like that to safety. You can literally pop them in the back, they're protected from the sun, your gear's protected from the elements, and you can just cart that thing and be on your merry way and get back to safety. Additionally, if you have it on the vehicle or you have it in the back of the truck and you don't want your stuff to fly around everywhere, that has multiple anchor points all over the entire system on the back to put tie down straps, bungee cords, things like that to secure your gear. And the last feature that really got me really excited is the integrated kickstand. So if I find myself in a situation, I've been pulling this thing for four or five miles, I get really, really, really tired and I need to take a break. You literally hit the clips, it folds down and it has an integrated kickstand and it's ready to go when you have got your energy back up, you've taken your water, you've eaten a snack, you go for a meal, you don't have to worry about your stuff just falling over. Now it looks like there is a possibility we're gonna actually be able to see him at PrepperCon in May because he is in Salt Lake City, he's a local. So it'd be really cool to be able to actually see the prototype in person. Like I said, there is a link down in the video description for the Polymule Indiegogo campaign. They're gonna be making this out of a very tough, bulletproof, high impact, high wear resistant polymer that is actually gonna be more structurally sound than things like Kevlar, which is pretty exciting I hope you guys are excited to buy an item like this coming to market which will help people like me who are preppers who will want to be able to have a hand-powered system if you run into an EMP attack or some crazy bug out scenario where we need to be able to haul a lot of stuff but as simple as doing some yard work cutting down trees or even hunting but that is about us for now definitely make sure you check out the link in the video description so you can check out the Indiegogo but that is about us for now hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day I'm out <laughs>